you queer cats are tone setters The same reason my main legion are wrong wetters With long cheddar, miss with lines written No time slipping, when we rhyme spitting Divine mission, since the house days G.A. Grandma left DJ Tanner outrage The South stays, about that Loretta clapping Lines balanced with Head on over to Spotify and all other streaming platforms to check out the No Mercy TV podcast. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy. Trap New York shit, nomercytv.com. I know what time it is. Um, I ain't really got a lot of laughing in this one, man. I really don't. Because after what I just saw on... Not only John Real's channel, shout out to John Real, shout out to Wave Gang, like what y'all doing, you know, keep applying pressure, please. But also, on Sinetta's channel, bruh, Battle Truth, you are a sick individual. Like, for real, for real. You are sick. You are sick. Number one. The sonogram that you posted on your Instagram page in December of 2017, which shows that Jerrica Baker is pregnant with your caption under it saying that you are about to be a grandfather once again. I don't know about y'all, but that combined with everything else that's been coming out looks pretty suspect to me. Now, um, it's so much here, man. It's so much. Sonetta, who, you know, is a person whose name I've been seeing around. I never really um watched any of his content. I know he's part of the, uh, I guess, the conscious com conscious community, which I'm not familiar with that sector of YouTube. I know that's some, you know, whole different shit. That's not even, you know, that's not something that I myself am into, but you hear rumblings about it and shit like that. So, he goes live, and he gets Battle Truth's baby mother on. The baby mother, who is the mother of his two sons, who is another woman that he caught at a very young age. I believe she said she was 15. She was, she, what, what she said? She just turned 15 and he was going on 21? You about a full-blown adult. With a, what is that, a 10th grader? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? And not to mention uh, Jerika Baker, who is the alleged daughter of Battle Truth, the one they supposedly got pregnant. Her mother, which is Battle, another one of Battle Truth's baby mothers, was young as well. But this time, she was... Some, for some reason, people were saying she was 13 or 14. She's saying she was 16 and a half. She made sure to add the half to try to not make it look as bad. But allegedly, this nigga is in his late 20s. So, clearly, from the information provided, you like him young. Very young. That is an issue. As a grown man liking females that young who are still in high school? Oh, this is a thing for you. This is a thing for you. This is this is your thing. And it makes sense because judging you from what having seen your blogs like 
you don't have the mental capacity to deal with like a full on woman. Like you don't have that mental capacity. A nigga like you would have to get a fucking high school student who would be impressed by the little bit of bullshit you could bring to the table. Like I said in my last vlog. So to me, all of this makes sense. I'm trying to do the quote unquote right thing, AKA the politically correct thing and say allegedly, but two plus two equal four, my nigga. Two plus two equal four. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's really looking like you are on some other type time right now. And the problem is, you're dealing with this in your real life. And you're coming on camera, still continuing to talk about other people. You're talking about prep. You're talking about Brother Polite. You're talking about all these other people who have these weird things going on. And you got your own weird shit going on. You're a sicko. You're sick for real, for real. You need help. You need help. You also need your ass beat, but you need help. Another thing I don't respect. Um, I'm going to say it like this, man. I understand people are their own people. And they do what they want on their own time. I personally do not respect the man that, number one, um, you already got a baby mother that's exposing you. You understand? Mind you, a female instinct-wise has to keep her family safe. That's instinctual when it comes to females. Keep the family safe, keep the kids safe, etc., etc. I'm sorry. I don't believe that his baby mother would go on a big platform like that and air him out just off some bitter shit. Knowing that she would be potentially putting her own kids out there by, you know, when she puts out the story about how Battle Troops sat the sun down and explained to him, yo, um, you got to address Jerrica as your stepmother now or something like that. What? She's not your sister no more. What? What are we doing? Nah. I don't believe your baby mother has a reason to lie. And the fact that you went up there with your other baby mother and let them two go at it. What kind of man do you call yourself? Because that ain't the sign of a man to me. That's not the sign of a man to me. That's not the sign of a leader who would basically let his baby mother go online to argue with another baby mother in front of the world. Nah. Nah. I personally don't respect that. Some of y'all may be cool with it because, of course, this social media era, niggas get passes for doing weird shit. Me personally, no. As a man... You should be keeping your family in line. And you some old niggas, so you should know this. You should know this to be able to keep both women, if they can't get along, keep them apart. That's just it. Them two shouldn't be on the internet arguing about some weird shit that has nothing to do with your train of content in terms of what you talk about. You're a battle rap blogger, right? Now you're... Baby mothers have to come to the forefront and argue with each other over your personal issues that are going on? Shameful. 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 This is weird. You got the nerve to be on your platform talking about everybody else. Bozo. You in a judge role acting like you're judge, jury, and executioner. Like you're the end-all, be-all when people are having real situations. No. Nope. It's not you. You not that guy. You are nowhere near fit to be telling people about their issues when you're out here getting your own daughter pregnant. 
with family coming forward to confirm it. You need to handle this shit. You need to handle this. You need, and when I say handle this, you need to get yourself away from the internet. Go find something else to do. Go get you some mental help. Because, nah, this ain't it. This ain't it. And you love to sit on your channel and be a gossip girl. You love to sit on your channel and be a gossip girl. You even got a couple of blogs about me. You better not ever make another blog about me, son. You better not. I tell you right now, I'm, I'm not blogging about you no more. I'm good off you. I'm good off you. I'm good off you. I don't got nothing else to say. Because you disgust me. As a person, you disgust me. I don't respect you as a man, a blogger, nothing. I'm going to keep it a buck based on the situation. And you really don't deserve oxygen. Like That's the type of time I'm on. Clown. Nah. Get this nigga out of here. Get this nigga out of here. Do not make no more blogs about me. You sit up here talking about, oh, you writing down a list of names and you going to roast everybody. You don't need to worry about roasting nobody. You need to worry about the situation that's going on. That's what you need to worry about. When it's gotten so bad that your family has to run to the internet to try to get this story out so people can understand what you're doing out here, that says a lot about you. That says a lot about you. All that, oh, I got family. Everybody got family that hate. No, they don't. Not everybody got family that hate them. And especially not enough to be running to the internet to lie about something and fabricate something as serious as this. No. Everybody do not have family that hate them this much. It's a you thing. You have family that hates you this much. Probably for valid reasons too. All for the reasons that they put out there. You a sicko, son. You a sicko. You you really like a chomo, son. You really like a child molester. You go after younger females and try to groom them. In. You're disgusting, son. You're disgusting. Don't make no more blogs about me, dog. Don't. 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 Do not. Don't make no blogs about me. I'm telling you right now, I got to respond. It ain't going to be on no blog, son. It ain't going to be on no blog. Like, I don't, I, I have zero respect for you as a human being. I have zero respect for you as a human being. You understand? So, that's just my take on that. Let me know what y'all think about this shit, man. I, I'm disgusted by this nigga, for real, for real. I'm disgusted. I, I, it's been, I, it's been a while since I've really been disgusted by somebody, but by somebody like this, who got the nerve to be sitting up there, who, the nigga who don't come out his house? Making blogs about a fight that I had? When the last time you had a fight? When the last time you even stepped out your crib and got into something? Like something serious. And you got nerve to be sitting up here blogging. Man, don't blog about me no more, son. Don't blog about me no more. You're a child molester. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here, son. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I'll talk to y'all soon, man. No mercy. Track New York shit. TheMercyTV.com. Y'all know what time it is, man. I'm out. Weirdo niggas.